Hello, so I am back with another shopping video and yep, yeah, it has been a while. I have been quite careful, I think, over the past few months. I haven't done loads of shopping. I've been mindful of the fact that I do, you know, I have a wardrobe that is full. And although there are some gaps and like there's some things that don't fit, I know that it's not, you know, sensible for me to just buy a whole new wardrobe like every time I go out shopping. And I'm really trying to scrutinize pieces for fit and fabric and, you know, whether I'm gonna wear them again in, in future seasons. I don't know. I think fashion is in a really interesting place at the moment. Anything goes, you know, fashion week is less relevant. I think we're always looking at these brands on Instagram and looking at street style and just piecing together our own trends as micro trends. So I think it's really interesting and exciting time, but I don't feel the need to, you know, buy a whole new wardrobe every season. And they're trying to make low rise jeans a thing. And I'm like, no, it's bad enough. Like I just want mid rise, just want a little bit of mid rise, you know? If you're new to my channel, I quite often do these shopping videos. I'm honest, I tell it like it is. I, you know, will tell you if things gape at the bust. Uh, you know, I find there's so many issues with things being too low or they're cut for a different body shape. So yeah, I have a few other videos like this. Um, I also do vlogs and travel videos and then just whatever comes into my head really. So yeah, I'd love it if you subscribed and liked if this is your kind of thing. So yeah, I thought I would head out into, into Oxford Street. I kind of need to get inspired, you know, sometimes it's good to just see the mannequins styled up, you know, to have an idea of what's out there, just so you can think, actually, I've got something similar. I don't need to spend loads of money. I better head to the shops and I'll let you know how I get on. So first, as always, I'm going into Zara. I had a look around and I think my wallet is safe. It's the first time I've come in. I've not been overly like giddy about anything. There's a lot of black and white. There's a lot of like red, scarf prints, neutrals. It's kind of relevant for this time of year, but I'm just like, mm, not, not overexcited. So I've picked two things I'm gonna try on that are kind of vaguely interesting. This, I was trying to go for that oversized, like really cool Scandi look, and I don't hate it. I just don't know if it's really me, you know, when you just never really worn a certain trend and you don't know if you can pull it off. Like I've always thought I was a bit too short for a full on midi, but this is just very practical. I feel like someone like Charlotte Jacqueline could pull this off, but I don't know. It's just like a practical, comfortable dress. I love the colour, I think it would look really nice with a leather jacket. And even with trainers as well, I think it's just nice, you know, sometimes to just be a bit covered up, comfortable, at ease. I think it's good for that, but I don't know. I am wearing a size large. I think it only comes in small, medium and large, which is a shame, like I know their sizing is, you know, their sizing could be more inclusive. Uh, and I normally go for a large because of the bust. So I think if you're like a less busty 14 or 16, it will probably fit. But yeah, it's a shame because it's got the potential to suit so many different kinds of shape. Okay, so the dress is 39.99. I'm now gonna try this top on. So I've actually picked up the medium as well and I can fit into the medium. This goes up to XXL. So again, the weird inconsistent sizing. But yeah, I think this is quite a nice, every day top that you can just throw on. Yeah, it's rather telling I've gone for a lot of smocks, but I just I just love to I just love the silhouette as well and I think it's trickier to find something that's you know more fitted that fits perfectly. So yeah. No I think this would be great like now you can wear thermals underneath and also wear it shorts later on. So next up mango so I'm now in Mango, and the only thing that's really caught my eye is this jumpsuit. And jumpsuits are a notoriously tricky shape for me. But I'm hoping because it's a fluid fabric and it's high-waisted, it could work. So I don't think this is the worst jumpsuit I've ever tried on, but I think the crotch is a little, a little too low. I don't know, that's always the tricky area, like the crotch. The crotch is always in the wrong place. Yeah, it's very 70s. I think Charlotte Jacqueline, again, you know, she loves this kind of silhouette, so yeah, don't think it's quite right. And it's 69.99.
I also popped into Warehouse to have a look at the Laura Jackson collaboration and as expected it's very much suited to her body shape and her body shape is very different to mine. I love the knitted t-shirt, I just wish it had been long sleeved, you know, I could have sized up as well potentially but love the pattern and the colours. I also tried on a yellow tea dress and again I love the colour but I find tea dresses so tricky, especially when they're button up styles, you know. I prefer my dresses with a really defined waist and this was a bit more subtle. I had a little bit more success with the black dress with the asymmetric button detailing. It's very rouge, so that French label, I can't pronounce the name, of Jean de Mar, Jean de Mar. I think Warehouse is a good place to go if you like that silhouette, but you don't have rouge money. So I also popped to And Other Stories. There was just so much animal print, loads of leopard, loads of zebra. So I've picked out a few animal themed bits. I probably shouldn't try button up styles from here. And I just wish, you know, it was a bit more A-line in the skirt department. Uh, but yeah, I'm sure it'll look nice on somebody. So this is me trying to find an affordable version of the Rixo zebra print skirt but this one is a bit more I don't know of a is this bias cut I don't know it's sort of spliced uh, a bit more of a tulip shape rather than like a cool wrap style so yeah and I wanted to make it into a co-op but they just don't quite match you have to ignore the fact that the jeans do not fit but I quite like the idea of this top it's a very different shape for me it's really you know, flouncy, the sleeves are a bit exaggerated. The model has the bow done up in the middle, but it looks a bit strange on me, so I prefer the side. Just wish it was longer so I could actually tie it in a bow. So, I am now in Topshop trying on a suit, and I don't actually mind the fit of the jacket. I quite like the fact that it's asymmetric, so it just gives it a nice nipped in shape. And the trousers, I've got tights on underneath, so these might fit a little bit better if I take them off, but yeah, not too bad. A little bit tight the waist, but that always happens everywhere. I think these could be good for a wedding. I do have a wedding coming up in May, so perhaps a pastel suit is the answer. I didn't find as much as I expected in top shot. I think I might be better off the skirt version of this. Yes. So I'm back home now and I thought I would try on some online shopping because I think I do have a better success rate with online shopping because I've had a chance to think, you know, I've had things in my basket for like months sometimes. So yeah, I ordered this skirt from ASOS. So this is from Monkey. It went down in the sale to £13.50, which I am all over. I just think at the moment, like, I don't have that many skirts, like that many mini skirts that fit me well. And I think... I think this is a good one. When it comes to European sizes, I can be really rusty. Like sometimes I'm a 40, sometimes a 38, sometimes a 42, and uh, I, I get so confused. But this fits, I mean, with skirts, the main thing is the waist. This is quite high-waisted, but it fits, and it's not too short. I think it's cute, it's cute for what I wanna do. I wanna do a lot of color blocking this season, so I think I'm actually gonna wear this look today. And yeah, 13 pounds 50, like who doesn't love a sale bargain? I've had a success, I've had a success. So next up, I have a little bit of bougie, <laughs> bougie shopping from Net-a-Porter. Like I only buy things from the Net-a-Porter sale. So hold your horses, I'm not, I'm not rich but I've ordered a few things that I've had in my wishes for a while. They went down by an extra 20% off this week. So I'm gonna see how I get on. So we have this J. Crew skirt first up. This must have been on my wish list for like six, seven months, but the size does not work. It looks like it fits, but I haven't been able to button it up. It's so annoying because I was like, I had the size 12 in my basket and then it sold out. And you know, when you're like, I really, really want this skirt. I'm just gonna try the smaller size and see what if it works. But no, it's a no, it's a no. Oh, it's got two buttons, oh, two buttonholes. Okay, I'm trying it, I'm trying it. But, oh God, it's just very, very tight on the waist. It's, oh, it's so tempting to like move the buttons. I could potentially move the buttons and see if it works because 
See, now I've, I've buttoned up, I've, bun I've done one of the buttons. Oh, it's tight, it's very tight. I think oh, I could hoist it. Do I hoist it like up to my boobs, like, like Simon Cowell? What do you think? Do you think I should try and adjust the buttons and make it work? Because it is a wrap skirt, so I think, you know, if I were to, you know, continue to change in size, I could do a bit of trickery, but I just think it's so cool. I don't really have, yeah. Okay, we, we've hoisted it, we've hoisted it. What would you do? What would you do? Okay, let's try the next item. <laughs> so I have on a really cute Rixo wrap dress. Uh, like all wrap dresses, it's very low at the front. I don't want to pin it because I'm probably gonna send this back, but this went down to a hundred and like a hundred pounds which is very good for Rixo. Like Rixo, they rarely discount. Even if they do discount, it's like 20 to 30% max. Like I went to the sample sale, there were no bargains. So, you know, this is a good price, like if you want a piece of Rixo, but I just don't think it's special enough. Like it doesn't really look like Rixo, that's the thing. I, I generally associate like mixed prints with Rixo and this could be from anywhere. I think it's silk. This is a size large, so yeah. I probably would need to get a large if I was gonna buy anything from there in the future. But it's just very, very low. And I think if you were to keep pinning it, you could, you know, you could risk like damaging the fabric. Also, I think someone commented on one of my older videos that you can get these special pins in Primark. Like I cannot find them. So if you know of a way to salvage wrap dresses, please let me know. But I mean, it's cute, it is cute. But I just don't know if I'd be, I think I'm just obsessed with the idea of Rixo more than this dress. So I think my decision has been made. So I'm all dolled up, I've got my new pink skirt on. And yeah, I think this shopping trip has actually made me get excited about fashion again. Cause I haven't really been posting many outfits recently. You know, it's been pretty cold and I've just been like meh, but I'm happy, I've got the skirt, I've got a new colour blocking component and I think that is my aim. I'm trying to find some like, I need to like prepare this with a pink jumper as well. I wanna find some lilac trousers to match with this jumper I bought last year. So I've got a bit of a plan and I might set myself a few challenges. So I think the next fashion video is gonna be like inspiration and styling and trying new things. I feel like I have most of what's out there, you know, I've got leopard print, I've got like five leopard print items. I don't need leopard print. I would like some zebra. The only zebra skirt I've seen is a Rixo skirt on Netta Porter. It is 200 pounds. And I don't know if I'm the kind of person who can just buy one thing rather than lots of things and feel better about just having that one perfect thing. I'm still umming and ahhing because part of me is like, ah, what if it goes in the sale? And I feel like a fool. Yeah, I'm just used to buying things in the sale. Can you tell? I do like the J Crew skirt. I need to try it on with a few other items and really weigh up whether it's worth moving the buttons. You know, it's still like 80 quid down from 205. Ideally, I wouldn't want to do that. I want to, I'm hoping that the size 12 will come back in stock. It's just typical. Had it in the basket and Netta Porter is so bad. It doesn't keep items for you if they're in the basket. Oh, I literally had seconds. I could have checked out and I didn't. And I, you know, feel annoyed, but. Yeah, I'm gonna have a little bit of a think about that, but I'm gonna send everything else back. The only two things I'm sort of intrigued by are like the loose Scandi style dress, so similar to what I tried on in Zara. Maybe I'd go for like a different print. I know they had like a sunflower or like daisy print dress that was a similar shape. Yeah, it's whether I'd feel entirely comfortable because I love like short smocks because I feel like I have to have, you know, some legs on show but a longer smock is like a bit out of my comfort zone even though they look comfortable. I don't know, what do you think? Also, didn't mind the top in And Other Stories, but I would love to try it on with some jeans that fit and just feel comfortable. I did try on the 12, it might have been slightly tight here. It was nice to try a different silhouette because I see all these tops with like voluminous sleeves and they're quite nipped in and I'm intrigued. You know, sometimes it is good to get out of the smocky comfort zone, but I just maybe need to try it on with some jeans that fit. Who knows? All in all, I feel like I have you know, pieces in my wardrobe that will do the same job as what's in the on the high street. You know, luckily I wasn't so like overly taken with something. And yeah, my wallet is safe. So yeah, I'm gonna take a picture of the skirt. You'll probably see it on Instagram. And yeah, hopefully I can get a lot of wear out of it. Let me know what you think about 
uh, the state of the high street have you bought a lot recently also if you have any other fashion suggestions please let me know i'll pop all my fashion videos up here thank you so much for watching and i will see you very very soon bye i was like sorry borderline it's so cute oh my god i love it all the pink this is hilarious I feel a lot better, I feel a lot more motivated. I've put some things in place this year. I'm trying to change things up. I feel like I need to change my life.